Hello all, we are discussing problem number 9.11, standard 12 physics, ray optics. Now we have a compound microscope and normally in compound microscope we place the object just beyond the focus of the objective lens. Now the image of this object is obtained on this side beyond 2f of this lens and this image behaves as an object for the eyepiece and finally the image can be obtained at infinity or the final image can be obtained at a distance of 25 centimeters from the eye of the observer and the eye of the observer is placed very very near to the eyepiece. So first of all we will be discussing a case in which the image is formed at D that is least distance of distinct vision. So for this lens, this is the object and this will be the image. So this would be the image distance VO. Now this is going to behave as the object for this lens and now this object is actually between F and O of this particular lens. Now it can be adjusted, the lens can be adjusted in this or that way such that the image of, of this one behaves as the object for this and that object is placed between O and F of this particular lens. Now the image will be of course virtual and direct, magnified and formed somewhere over here. Now this will be the image distance for the eye lens. Now this is the object distance for the eye lens. Now this is given in the question that this distance is 25 centimeters. Now since all distances are measured from the optical center, so for this one the incident ray would be going like this. So this distance is in the opposite direction of the incident ray. So VE would be minus 25 centimeters. The focal length of the eyepiece that is FE. Now that will be plus 6.25 centimeters because it's a converging system. Now from the lens makers formula we will be easily able to find out UE. Now once I get UE the distance between these two lenses is 15. So I'm going to subtract 15 minus U so I'll be getting VO. From VO and FO I'll be able to find out UO that is what my purpose is. So let's apply the lens makers formula. placing all the values here so you have to use the sign conventions now since this is a converging lens its focal length is positive VE has to be negative minus 1 upon UE please note that the thing which is to be found out you cannot use sign convention for that so since the value of this is not given we won't be using the sign conventions now you transfer this on this side, solve this and then reciprocate it. So you'll be getting the value of UE as minus 5 centimeters. You can check this one. This can be transferred on that side. Now this, you just solve it by taking the LCM that I leave it on you. So you'll be getting this distance as minus 5 centimeters, which means now this distance is 5 centimeters that we have obtained and the distance between these two is already given. So we can very well find out this distance that is 10 centimeters which is my VO because now that would be the distance from here to actually this point here right and that would be 10 centimeters. So for the next particular case I know that VO is plus 10 centimeters. I'll explain you why it is plus. UO we don't know. And then I also know the value of FO that is plus 2 centimeters, which is already given in the question. Please understand this very well that for this particular lens, this is the object. So incident ray would be coming like this, and the refracted ray would go like this one. So this image distance 
which is to be measured from the optical center is in the direction of refracted ray sorry or the incident ray in the direction of incident ray we take the distance is positive but had it been this uo it would have been negative so you don't have to place the value of uo negative that is what is to be found out so vo is plus 10 fo again the focal length for the converging system is on this side it's like this so that again would be positive let us find out with the help of lens makers formula placing all the values you will get the value of uo so placing all the values over here you'll be getting the value of uo as minus 2.5 centimeters which is the answer to our first part so we have found this object distance this object distance is 2.5 centimeters and as i said that this object has to be placed just behind the focus so look at the focal length and uh, the object distance it is very small gap between these two so this is our answer to the first part the magnification overall magnification is magnification of objective multiplied by magnification of the eyepiece now magnification of objective is v upon u and this when the image is formed at d for that particular case it is 1 plus d upon f now since this is for the eye lens i would be writing over here now let's place all the values and find the magnification so this is the image distance for this lens which is 10 centimeters this is for objective and for objective v is 10 centimeters You'll have to use sign conventions this is plus and then this has to be negative but the overall magnification is always positive so you'll have to take the modulus of these two magnification can't be negative so u is 2.5 then again 1 plus 25 divided by 6.25 because it is given over here now when you will solve this you will get this answer as 20. Part B of the question, now they say that this is the position of the object, understand that objects are always placed just behind the FO in case of the compound microscopes. Now the image of this object is formed on the focus of this lens. Why? Because the final image is obtained at infinity. Now that can only happen if the object is at focus so this behaves as the object for this lens which is actually the image for this lens now for this as per the ray diagrams the image will be at infinity right so for this lens the final image v e turns out to be at infinity and you can very well understand that now this itself is the object distance u e so u e will be equal to the 6.25 centimeters negative as per the ray diagrams if you want we can easily solve it up let's see how 1 upon fe is equal to 1 upon ve minus 1 upon ue now 1 upon since this is a converging lens focal length is positive plus 6.25 that is 1 upon final image at infinity minus 1 upon ue so if you find out you will get the value of ues minus 6.25 centimeters so that's what the object distance is for this particular lens now the distance between these two is 15 centimeters so we have to subtract this part so we will be getting this distance actually this distance is the image distance for the objective because for this lens this is the object and that is the image so 15 minus 6.25 will be the image distance for this particular lens so vo that is equal to 15 centimeters minus 6.25 centimeter so this is 8.75 centimeters now what i know for this lens i know the focal length that is already given in the question so 1 upon fo is 1 upon vo minus 1 upon uo you have to be very careful in placing the sign conventions converging system so positive focal length vo 
is along the direction of incident ray all distances are measured from the optical center so this has to be positive so plus 8.75 minus this is to be found out so finally if you solve this you will get the value of the uo you will have to solve this one and this you will get as 2.59 centimeters i leave it on you you can easily do that with the help of calculator all right so this distance the object distance that is uo is what we have found out now for this particular case the magnification is equal to magnification of objective into magnification of eyepiece now magnification of objective is of course v upon u and this is now only d upon f right the link is given in the description if you don't understand this part so let's substitute the value so vo value we have just now found out it is 8.75 uo is 2.59 please note that we are supposed to use the modulus sign and this is 25 and focal length is 6.25 so if you solve this you will get your answer as 13.51 which is the answer